If you found this video because you were looking for an audio bag for your sound devices Mix Pre 6, then I hope I can help you making a decision. In this video, I will feature two bags, the Orca bag and the KTEC. However, there are other companies from Strude, Sachtler and Porter Brace. And for these bags, I have additional links in the description down below. But at the end of this video, I will tell you which of these bags I keep and which one I send back. Just that you know, if you have no idea who I am, I'm not a professional sound mixer, boom operator or location sound recordist working in the industry. I travel around the world and I record sound mainly for free to use sounds and for our sound libraries. And for this, I need recorders, I need microphones, but I also need bags. And maybe you follow us already, then you know that we bought this recorder at b and and during that time, I also ordered the Orca bag because KTEC wasn't available. Luckily, I have a personal connection with Tino from KTEC, so I asked him if there is maybe somewhere in your store a bag available. So he went back into the office and he looked and he looked and then he finally found it. So he could send it to me that I not only make this video about both bags, but I can also try it out and see which one I like more. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video but also what is very important for me to let you know is if you're looking for bags maybe it's on B&H or it is in Gotham Sound through or maybe you're somewhere in Europe and you don't see these bags available always make sure that you contact the company as well not just by knowing yes we have bags available but also so that they know that there is a demand for it because field recording is barely discovered these companies don't make bags just for field recording purpose only no these are sturdy bags that need to get the job done for the people that working in the entertainment industry and as long as they don't get the fake bag that won't change now let's start with the Orca bag and I used the bag already several times and yeah from the price point if price is the only thing that you care about and you want the most affordable one then this bag is for you but let me just tell you a little bit more about the bag and see if there are any ways that we could improve the bag and again that's what I mean and I also think that people who are working in sound are more people that making things work instead of sending out a complaint or feedback so that bags can get better and I have to say one of the first thing that I noticed is when I stand in an elevator and I try to record the elevator interior sound but I do have to say I have to read since the age of four so that when I move around that creates a sound and a bag like this is very noisy just comparing it later to the KTEC bag what is way quieter the problem is that we have these zippers right and these zippers I already put a little bit of a tape on but still they're way too loud and here on the KTEC bag we don't have that noise first off they're using completely different zip zippers they are made of uh, it's like a rubber and this already is, is is an improvement because it's just quieter again that is loud for a sound bag now the second thing is if we put the recorder into the bag this is the mix pre 6 so it, it feels like that the recorder disappeared but what we can do is and and that that that's all right this is you can fix the recorder with zip tights up and also down here so we have fear uh, fear <laughs> four fixed points where we can have the recorder fixed and yes we can use the velcro or you can use your own zip tights now the problem is that i face is if i'm too high then it's very hard for me to access the battery slot plus the sd card and i also um, noticed that when you have a sound devices and you use these louder batteries these louder batteries are a little bit more wide so you can't really close this and then if you press it in, first off, the recorder doesn't start, but it's, it's, it's a known uh, problem from MixPre, from sound device, so there is a post about it. But if you are in, if you have it too far in, and then you try to get it out, you're not getting this out, out of this bag, because it's just too high up. 
Now what you have to do is you have to get everything out. Now imagine you use zip tights, that means you have to cut it out. So this is one thing. Now when I'm out and recording, that's when I really know ah, this is something I'm not a fan of or this is really cool. But this, for example, I was out recording sounds, what else? And then I try to first time put my XLR cables in here and then I notice that these things are just flying around left and right and I didn't have a, you know, like a rubber band or something, then I always had to use this and put this back in here but then it flies out again. So you have to decide for yourself if you like that or not. And if it's your bag, then maybe you, you know, you can also cut it off. If this is something you, you would do, I wouldn't do it. But maybe, yeah, this is something that Orca Bay could improve to have something better to get access to your XLR cables. Before I start talking about the KTEC bag, there's still one thing that I would like to talk with you and that includes both bag, but also this is something that I really love about the Stingray bag, the KTEC bag for the Zoom F6. Because the Zoom F6 is still a little smaller. You see that the bag is also smaller, but I also did a little bit of a weight check. So there's no big difference in weight. And you have this in, the, in this bag, or you have this in this, or this in that bag. So from the weight, if this is something you're interested, it's very, very similar. But what I really love about this bag especially when you're out there hours and you walk around is that you have already a belt. And we don't have this here included in both bags. Yes, there are add-ons that you can purchase and these are a little bit more sturdy belts or harnets. But for me, who is just doing field recording and I'm not working on set with heavy equipment, I felt like if I would walk around with this, it looks like I would go either rock climbing or bungee jumping because of all the carabiners and hooks. But yes, this is just my personal, personal, what's the word Libby? Preference. Preference, that's just my personal preference. So if you don't care and you said, yeah, I want this belt, there are in a harness, there are options that you can find either on B&H or any other platform that sells this equipment. I don't want to talk too much about this bag in the Zoom F6, but if you're interested about this bag, we made a video about it. And then when you watch the video, then you will see that I include a part where I attach the Loam Uji Pro with magnets here. And this is something that really got me excited about this bag. Because first off, this bag is a little longer, but what it can do is we also have these magnets on top. Now I can use my Sennheiser microphones and then if I somewhere in a train station or something that's not too windy, then I can attach the Sennheiser on here, have the microphones, the XLR cables plugged into the recorder and I can record sounds from this position. Or what I can do is we have here, it's like a kickstand. You can also use the kickstand and then you can just, you know, do it that way. Now this KTEC bag is a little bit more pricier than the Orca bag. And one thing that I noticed is that we have only two fixed points to fix the sound devices inside the bag. And here on the Orca bag, what I showed you, you have four fixed points and you could also use a zip tie that you can't do here. So I'm not quite sure how long it would last if, you know, over the months, rain, dirt, dust goes into the Velcro and it might could fall down, but I have not uh, tested this yet for that long, but I will let you know probably on my Instagram account if I run into any issues with this part. So what do we have here is the power bank that I currently use here for the sound devices. I do notice that this one isn't strong enough, so I have to buy another one that is a little stronger. And I told you that I use this power bank to have it here in that bag and then you don't see any cables. Here, however, there, is, there, there are two options. I could use the front pocket that you can also take off. So I won't use it a lot, I already know that, because then I have it even slimmer, what I like, and lighter. But what I can do is I can have the recorder in here, and then I can have my power bank right here behind it. That way I can also fix that it doesn't float around as much. And then I can also just have the cable in here and then you don't see anything. Also, both bags come with this rain cover and then you can either have it here, have it here, you know, I have to make sure 
<laughs> yeah, that's the correct way. So I have to make sure when I send one back, back that I don't send it back with the wrong rain cover. So it comes with the rain cover. Yes, this bag is just smaller. It's a little bit thinner. And it also has, and that's, that's what I like, because later on, what I can do is, I have a Lover Pro bag. It's a little sturdy, but it's good. <clears throat> so I can, this part, if I want to do, I can fix this in any of my Lover Pro bag. And also, if I have anything else, then I have always the chance that I have other parts and compartments that I can attach to this bag. Yes, this is the bag that I will use that you will see way more often on my Instagram account and also when we do videos together with the Peak Design Strap. Not just it is, it is, it feels way better from the high quality and also there's less noise. I also know that these Peak Design Straps, they can't be stolen as quick. All right, there's one thing that really frustrated me and this is not particularly about the bag it's more about the sound devices and that's when i tried to change my xlr cables and i was at the money to climb the other day by the way this compartment here is 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 way better solution than this one that's for sure because we can also just clap it behind and then we have access to our xlr cables but that's when i had real problems I tried to get my XLR cable in and out of this compartment, but that's not a bag problem itself. It's more about the sound devices and these tiny little slips. So if you run into the same issue, let me know in the comments down below, because trying to figure out when the bag is fixed to get your XLR cable out and trying to push this in when the bag is right here, it was for me personally a real hassle. So let me know in the comments down below if you had the same problem. Now in order to access your battery or SD card, I also believe that it is much easier here on the KTEC bag than on the Orca bag. Because all what we need to do is, we need to open this and then imagine the recorder is inside. Then you have way easier access than on the Orca bag. In conclusion, I really hope that I could help you with this video, making a decision. I try to make it unbiased as possible by showing you the things that I like and the things that I don't like about both bags. Now, which bag is the one that I'm going to keep? And it's definitely the K-Tag bag, not just because the bag speaks to me more than the Orca bag. It is also, I use already K-Tag several years with the Zoom F6 and I never had any problems. Will it be stay that way? I don't know. Let's find out because you will see this bag several times now in my upcoming videos and also Instagram posts. So feel free to follow us on Freedio Sounds on Instagram or subscribe here on our channel because we make more videos about field recording and traveling the world. So thank you so much for watching and I really hope to see you in our next video.